I don't know why I mess around and be flirting around back in that prophet. Ain't I got and read that book so many times, but now I just feel like the most I put it in my spirit to just go ahead and share it with the world. Whoever wants to hear it, we're not going to play this game anymore. Uh, the prophet Enoch is part of your canon. They just called it non-canonized. And this is very important that we need to know this. I don't care what anybody says. And unless you can dispute the prophet Enoch, which you can't, um, he is uh, the most high's first scribe and wrote down everything he saw as it was instructed. And uh, the early church members read this letter, uh, his, his books, and also the Catholic Church today still has his books in their Bible. Go figure. What does that sound like? A scam. So here's the thing. I'm not going to sit back and not teach what I know. <coughs> My teaching did not, well, what I've learned did not come from some degree or some uh, seminary telling me something about some Western teaching. My degree comes from the Most High because I sat down and studied to show myself approved. And I read every single book that they possibly took out of every single book that I could possibly read. Not only did I read the 66 books back and front, front and back, but then I also took out and read the books that they snatched out as well. Don't tell me that no games happen when Jasher's quoted twice in the 66, once as a question and once as a statement. Is this not written in the book of Jasher? This is written in the book of Jasher. And nobody says where is the book of Jasher? Well, I'm sorry. It's plain evidence right there in our face that there's been some scams. Well, I read those books, and so I feel like it is my time to speak, and I'm going to use every platform I have to share it with those that want to hear it. And believe it or not, we have over almost 12,000 subscribers on our YouTube channel. So somebody across the world is hearing what I have to say, and I will not stop. I will keep putting my foot on the pedal every single day and knocking Satan out every chance I can. So here we go. Enoch chapter 100. I'm going to get through this, and I'm going to close this video down. Here we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. In those days, the angels shall descend into places of concealment and gather together in one spot all that have assisted in crime. In that day shall Yahuwah rise up to execute the great judgment upon all sinners. Here we go. Once again, we're not talking about tribes here. So stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. The heritage won't save you. We're clearly identifying a person here, which is called a sinner. And you know what a sinner is. A sinner is a person who practices sin and can't stop sinning. Not that you won't sin, but what is your mentality with the sin that you're committing? And to commit the guardianship of all the righteous and holy to the holy angels that they may protect them as the apple of an eye until every evil and every crime be annihilated. There is a scripture where he does wink at certain sins that you can commit, but that's all based on how you're living. Whether or not the righteous sleep securely, wise men shall then truly perceive. And the sons of the earth shall understand every word of that suffer, knowing that their riches cannot save them in the ruin of their crime. So your, your money won't save you. I don't care how much money you got. That's why I don't get excited about the, uh, the, 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 the things of this world, because this world is going to pass away. It's, 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 it's on its way out of here. There's judgment coming. These guys don't want, they still want to keep on fighting reparations. And you think that the most high is not angry with that. That's one of his number one things. You don't work somebody and don't pay them. The, the blood of our ancestors is still crying out to Yahuwah for uh, America's uh, stain called slavery. So they can dance all they want, but they are going to be judged. Woe to you sinners when you shall be afflicted on the account of the righteous in the day of the great trouble shall be burnt in the fire and be recompensed according to your deeds. Remember, this is Enoch now. This is way before Moses. This is way before Abraham, before the Israelites even existed. This was pronounced. Woe to you perverted in heart who, wa who are watchful to obtain an accurate knowledge of evil and to discover terrors. No one shall assist you. Woe to you sinners, for with the words of your mouths and with the works of your hands have you acted impiously, and the flame of a blazing fire shall you be burnt. And know now that the angels shall inquire into your conduct in heaven of the sun, the moon, and the stars, respecting your sins, for upon earth you exercise jurisdiction over the righteous. Every cloud shall bear witness against you, the snow, the dew, and the rain, for all of them shall be withheld from you, that they may not descend upon you nor become subservient to your crimes." Now then bring gifts of salutation to the rain that not be being withheld. It may descend upon you into the dew if it has received from you gold and silver. But when the frost, snow, cold, every snowy wind and every suffering belonging to them fall upon you, 
In those days, you will be utterly incapable of standing before them. Once again, the prophet Enoch is giving you a picture of the last days. Ding, ding, ding. I hope you're waking up and smelling the coffee beans. Uh, thanks for you. If, if you. if you did tune in, hey, I really appreciate the support. So please like, share, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And you can visit us online, www.kns-ministries.org. Listen, be blessed until next time. And I'm telling you, it might be 10 seconds from now. I'm on fire today. And until we get to this next job, listen, I'm just going to let the most high Yah use me where I need to be used today. And if he got me in Enoch, then this is where we're going to be. Because you guys have to understand, this is scripture. I'm not doing this for your stage. I don't ask for your offering. This is not any of that. So don't understand that this is not, I, I don't, why do you think I take out the time to even do this? I mean, if you think I didn't believe what I'm talking about, you're out of your mind. I just don't need the prestige and the crap that comes with the preachers today because these guys don't even care about people's souls. They care about more, more about the stage and the prestige than making sure that you're taught right and, and understanding that if that you're not taught right, the blood is required at your hands, brother or sis. So you better make sure you in the room and then being in the room is not being what your mommy and daddy taught you, especially if you don't spend enough time in the scriptures. I spend hours daily every day and still work full time every day in the scripture every day. And so that's how aggressive you got to get with this to really understand this. And if you don't, you're going to hear all kinds of scams. I can tell you some things I've heard my entire life in church that I can't even believe I even listen to. Some of the things you all are just ought to be ashamed of yourself. And we ought to be ashamed that we're so blind and ridiculous that we don't even understand what's fake, what's false, and what's witchcraft and any of that. We attribute everything to the Most High. He's angry with that. Those places are going to be judged. I don't care what you think. It's what the book says. I'm the minister, man. Be blessed.